and Pfizer's new cancer drug won approval from U.S. regulators for patients with a rare form of skin cancer. This is the Merck based in Germany, of course. The company's plan on selling the drug for $13,000 a month, the price in line with other cancer immunotherapies. Joining us now on the phone from Darmstadt in Germany is Stefan Oschmann. Thank you so much for joining us. He's the CEO of Merck, of course. Stefan, this is a, thankfully, rare skin cancer. So how significant a product can this be for Merck? Hey, good morning. So Prevencio and the approval is a imp very important milestone for our, for our company. Um, Acrocell carcinoma, this rare skin cancer, is a, is a rather small indication. It's a very important indication patients currently have had for this potentially fatal disease have had hardly any therapeutic options. So as I think it really matters, uh, it matters to patients from a financial point of view. This is only the first indication that we have, where we have got approval for, for Valencia. We have uh, recently received uh, breakthrough designation from the FDA on, uh, on bladder cancer and we're developing the product in, in, in many other indications too. Is there, I mean, Anna says that this uh, price tag is in line with other immunotherapies. It strikes me as someone who's not very familiar with this sort of thing as expensive. Is thirteen thousand dollars a month a fair price? We think it's um, in line with the value of the product. Uh, immune oncology is a major revolution in in healthcare and oncology in oncology treatment, and we think that this price reflects the value of the product. Harnessing the immune system to fight cancer seems to be a significant change in the way that cancer is being treated in recent years, Stefan. How far uh, are, are you at Merck through get, catching up in that, uh, in that field? How much do you catch up with other companies that have been leading the way in this kind of uh, immunotherapy? We had established a specialized research group some five, six years ago that is focusing entirely on immuno-oncology. That was at a time when uh, most people hadn't even heard of hadn't even heard of that. And I agree with you that this is really a m remarkable development, immuno-oncology. And we have uh, quite a few other pipeline assets uh, that, we're, uh, that we're working on, so we're quite confident about our prospects in this field. How is the sale of uh, the biosimilars business progressing? Just to move on to another part of the business that you're working on, Stefan. Yeah, we had announced it uh, when, we, when we had our recent press conference that we were uh, in late stage negotiations uh, for the sale of our biosimilars business. The biosimilars business had been sort of a plan B for us. Had the pipeline of innovative products not worked out uh, well enough, we now think that our pipeline is very strong, and that's why we focus on innovative products. We had a quick word on the pricing. Of course, uh, Donald Trump, President Trump, has been tweeting about prices of drugs uh, on, a, on a fairly consistent basis. Have you had any feedback from the U.S. administration as to whether this price is acceptable? Uh, so we had no specific feedback from the U.S. administration on the, uh, on the price. Uh, the, the approval of Provincia happened uh, happened yesterday. Yes, there is a very active dialogue with the with the new administration. All sorts of messages are being uh, are being sent. I am personally very confident that the U.S. will continue to be a place where where true innovation will be will be awarded by uh, by the uh, by the healthcare system. And uh, the U.S. has a leading position both with regard to the research-based pharmaceutical industry as well as with regard to the cutting-edge ac academic uh, medical centers. And I, I, I continue to be an optimist.